Hi everyone, Austin with Sun Fun Kids. So in this video, I want to address uh, a concern or so you know a question that we have been getting recently, and it's regarding how in the heck do you put two of these wires into one of this? It doesn't fit. Okay, so that's what we're going to discuss. It does fit. You just have to be a little careful. So the first thing you want to do is you want to use a wire stripper and strip a little more than the actual barrel. So you're gonna have a little bit of a gap. So if you can see here, if I put this in here, I will have a little bit of exposed. So, and that's fine. You don't, it doesn't have to be butt up against uh, the end of the lug. You do not wanna twist these together, okay? What you're gonna do is basically crump these together as close as you can and insert it. So I'm gonna do that next and I'm gonna show you how it looks like and then we're going to go ahead and crimp it with um, with our hydraulic crimper. But the process would be the same as if you had a hand crimp. Okay. All right. So I'm about to insert it. And as you can see, I've sort of kind of gotten both of them together and just kind of, you know, gotten to about the same length. And now I'm going to insert it into here and I'll show you how that looks like. All right. So I just kind of roughly positioned them in. You may have a few strands that don't go in. It's no big deal. Now we're going to push it all the way in to where we see it come out to the edge. And all that does is, I can actually do it with one hand. I just want to work my way uh, in here. And I'll show you how it looks like when they're all the way butted up. All right, so we haven't butted up. And as you can see, they're coming, they're basically at the edge. And they're pretty tight. Now, there's not a lot of gap between the barrel and the sides. And that is what we want. We don't want empty gaps between this and I'm gonna actually sacrifice one of these to kind of show you how it looks like on the inside to show you how uh, tight it is but if you use a lug that's too big and you crimp it it may be easier to put the wires in but you're going to have not as good of a connection as you could have had if you had a properly sized thing so once we do this I'm gonna crimp it and then I'm gonna sacrifice it to show you how it looks like on the inside all right we have it in our hydraulic press lined up with our die and now we're just going to crimp it in okay and that is a solid 20 ton crimp it's not going to go anywhere now i hate even having to do this but i think it's important to show you why we have it sized this way so we're actually going to cut right here and show you how it looks on the inside man that breaks my heart so nice little lug that we had we just chopped off but now look at this i don't know if you can see how well our uh, the camera picks up but there is basically it all those strands almost merged into one solid piece of copper do you see how there's no gap so that's what is actually making contact. And it's and it's we want to do that because we don't want any empty gaps. We want end-to-end -end coverage to where it's basically, you know, perfectly sawed. So again, it may seem a little bit annoying to do that, but once you have it covered on with some, you know, heat shrink, it'll look nice, but you will have a very solid connection, no gap. It's not going to come off. It will handle thermal expansion. As, as you can see, it looks like it's one solid piece of copper. So that's why it's important to get the right size lug. Maybe a little tricky. And you, you have a few strands maybe that didn't go all the way. That's not going to do anything. So you'll be fine. All right. Hope that helps. Uh, a little longer video than I anticipated. But I think it's important people wanted to sort of see and, uh, you know, when you're buying your 3.5 DOI kit or you're doing your kit yourself, uh, this is kind of why we want you to do that. Just remember, don't try to twist these. Keep them straight, ball them up, put them in, compress them, and you should be good to go. Thank you.